Hey everyone, welcome back to another Resurrected Bleach Brave Souls character review. And today we're going to take a look at Mind Uryu, Let's Steal Uryu. Now this character has had a pretty interesting past. Uh, I remember back in the day when they first upgraded him to 6 star, they kind of messed up the attack speed and made it too fast for just the co-op. And I uh, made a video on it a long time ago. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description. So hopefully, I mean, they made it too fast, so it was kind of OP. But it was still, I mean, he still wasn't an OP character. But anyway, with that out of the way, guys, check out that video. It's pretty interesting. So they gave him some upgrades. Let's look at the stats first. Uh, he gets the same standard stat increases that everybody else gets. Uh, so he ends up with 943 stamina, 646 attack, 328 defense, 348 focus, and 653 spiritual pressure. So, I mean, decent, decent numbers. Um, he looks kind of hybrid on paper because the attack and the spiritual pressure are pretty close uh, it, number wise. Yeah, it's not terrible stats. Um, not great, but not terrible. Anyway, let's move on. The six star upgrades, guys. Now, this character, man, he got uh, some weird stuff happened to him that I haven't seen in a previously resurrected character that I've done. Uh, Sprinter, Blast Zone, and Adrenaline stay the same. Unfortunately, Adrenaline really did need to be increased because his normal attack speed is freaking awful. It's so slow, guys. And when we do the gameplay, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, interestingly enough, though, his Bruiser, which is the normal attack damage um, increase, actually got reduced from 30 to 20, which, man, <laughs> throw this guy a bone. I mean, like, it's not like he was doing overpowered normal attack damage. I don't know why they had to reduce it. Like, yeesh. All right. Well, I mean, that's the way it is. We got to live with it, guys. But um, he did get a couple of other upgrades that are very good. So maybe they have to balance that out. I don't know. Havoc, which is uh, the strong attack range, goes up from 10 to 20. Devastation, which is the special move damage, goes from 10 to 40. That's a huge increase. And Berserker, which is 25% normal attack damage, gets changed to Frenzy. And that's kind of a big deal, guys, because it means resurrected characters can potentially get Frenzy as an upgrade. Um, that's a huge damage boost to strong attack. Uh, basically, Frenzy is 100% strong attack damage. So, um, yeah, overall, the upgrades look good, except for the nerf to Bruiser, which was unnecessary, in my opinion, because this character, man, he is, he needs all the help he can get. You'll see, guys. Uh, and Adrenaline, he needed more attack speed, nor normal attack speed. Um, all right, so overall, uh, kind of a mixed bag when it comes to 6-star upgrades. Moving on to his Soul Trait. Much like many other resurrected characters, the secondary Soul Trait that he gets is not really that useful. He goes from just having dodge to having dodge and paralysis duration minus 55%. So, uh, kind of a throwaway, but it could be useful in certain scenarios. I don't know, maybe useful as a link or something. I can see you... I mean, I, never mind guys, I can't see anything. But <laughs> I'm trying to find something good to say about every character. But uh, some of these soul traits, man, they're just not, there's just nothing good you can say about them. Uh, at least at this point in the game. Maybe in the future? Who knows? All right, so let's look at my Uryu before we start the gameplay. I have the Uryu set up for pretty much strong attack damage SP. Uh, 30 SP Tension Tie, 30 SP Owen, and 30 SP Fortification Pill. Because he has uh, the Frenzy is primarily the reason I did that. And for Lynx, we got Frenzy Byakuya, Frenzy Yoruichi, and a 14 Recharge Rukia. So that's the way it is, guys. Uh, let's move on to the gameplay. For this gameplay, we're going to do the 5-star Jushiro Raid. So uh, Uryu should have the Killer Advantage and the Attribute Advantage. And we're just going to use one Soul Ticket for this one. Alright, so I've already tried this character. Ugh. All right, well, I'm not going to spoil it. Let's just look at his stuff. All right, here we go. Here's the normal attack speed I was talking about. Guys. Look how slow that is. It's... Oh, God, he doesn't move. It's very static. Interestingly enough, though, he's the only character in the game that doesn't have, like, a, a normal combo. So this thing doesn't have a combo at all. It doesn't knock anyone down at the fourth hit. Unlike the, uh, the Byakuya, which has a three hit. And look how much faster that is, man. One, two, three. And then you switch to Uryu and you got this. Um, you know, maybe the difference isn't that much, but uh, it's an infinite combo string. Uh, although you'll never be able to do it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It, it's kind of a... And look how skinny it is, too. It, it's, a, it's a bad normal attack string. Let's just be real. Um, all right. First strong attack. There you go. You see he fires three arrows. Um, the thing about that strong attack is that if you're not 
if you're too close to the enemies, they can go over them. So um, you have to be kind of further back. You have to position yourself properly to use it effectively. Uh, strong attack two, it's a skinny arrow. Um, that thing, I mean, it's so easy to miss. And look at the activation time, guys. The slow activation time means that, you know, if enemies are moving, you're probably gonna miss. So you have to use it very carefully uh, to get the most out of it. Uh, and strong attack three, his best one. There you go. Uh, and as you can see, there's a big gap between where it starts and where it lands. So you have to be further back to use that effectively as well. You have to be quite a distance back from the mobs. All right, so enough talking. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we go, guys. And I hate the stage because it has these underground dudes that are kind of a pain. Um, when you do connect, oh God, already? When you do connect with the uh, strong attacks, it's, uh, it's very good damage. And if you, you'll notice that the uh, strong attack two that I just did there, it does pierce, it goes through enemies, so it can hit stuff behind the first enemy you, you make contact with. But look at this. Oh, okay, there we go. You do have to be very careful with its placement because it's so easy to miss. Strong attack three is pretty much the most useful one, uh, or the only useful one. Well, they're all useful, but the least headache to use. Um, and you can see the damage is not bad. Like I'm not questioning the damage, but uh, the mechanics are, oh god, the mechanics are not are not very fun to play. They're kind of they're kind of clunky, guys. Here we go. Let's try to position these guys so we can hit everybody. And there you can see, I have to be a little further away to uh, to hit with the, that third strong attack. And there we go. All right. So I mean. <sighs> Basically, you want to be spamming your strong attacks as much as possible. Uh, the Nad isn't really that useful. It'll get you killed a lot of times because he's so stationary and it's so slow. Look at this. I'm trying to position them. So I, you see that? I missed that, that one uh, ninja dude because the activation time was too slow. And look at that. I don't even hit the guy next to that dude. Oh, look at that. I didn't even hit that, that, this guy right here. I gotta wait. Uh, yeah, just overall, this character is not fun to play. He's not his mechanics. It's his mechanics, guys. It's not his. Uh, it's not his uh, damage. The damage, I have no argument with. Um, it's just like, yeah, it's very a herky jerky combat. Oh man, I oh, God, I don't even want to finish the stage. I'm telling you guys. You know, if I could get a refund for uh, resurrecting this character to to, uh, to level 200, get my droplets back, I would do it in a heartbeat because I ain't never going to use this character for nothing. Um, which is something I don't say about many characters. If you watch my videos, I find something good to say about every single character. But man, this one is just not fun to play. And uh, which is too bad because he's a he's a cool looking character. It's, it's let's steal Uryu. He should be OP, but. Uh, you know, back in the day, the game was different. Mechanics were different. Uh, what was considered good was different. I don't think he was ever considered good, though. Look at this. But here's what I'm talking about with the not the no combo. He doesn't he doesn't uh, knock them down after at any point in his string. All right, let's go on to the special. Thank God we're done. Here we go. Special is a very narrow line, so you do have to aim it. And uh, let me try to get it right here. Okay, I got him. I got him. Let's steal. Okay, and it, watch this, it blows up. See, it's, it's a very unique, there's a lot of unique things about this character. His normal attack string is unique, although not in a good way. And his special is unique as well, because it has that first hit and then it blows up. So there's like a delay. Uh, but other than that, man, the damage is good, guys. The damage is good. I'm not going to uh, deny that, like I said before, but the mechanics, oh God, it's, it's not, ugh. I hate it. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. But um, you guys might feel differently. Uh, maybe I just gotta get used to it or something, but uh, I don't foresee myself using this character for anything other than a potential link. I mean, dodge and paralysis resistance, and you know, like that's not really that useful either. I was really hoping he would get uh, a better normal attack speed up upgrade, and maybe some, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe some some better upgrades to his strong attack mechanics. Um, that second strong attack, the single arrow, is oh god, it's not a very good strong attack. Um, the first. Strong attack in the third, I could get used to. Uh, you do have to position yourself very correctly to get the most out of them, but that's not something you can't learn. Uh, anyway, is there anything else to mention about this character? Oh yeah, he'll give you 75 orbs if uh, you resurrect, so uh, do it for that. 
All right, so that is the, that, those are my opinions on this Uryu, my Uryu. Um, meh, meh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Uryu, I can't, I can't give you, I, can't, I gotta be honest, man. But thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll be back with another resurrected character review in a day or two. Don't know who it's gonna be yet. Maybe Ichigo or Yoruichi. I'll play it by ear. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.